find the values of c guaranteed by the mean value theorem for the following function over the interval for comma 9. Solution. Before we do the problem, let me refresh your memory on the formula we're going to use. So f of c is equal to 1 over b minus a times the definite integral from a to b of f of x with respect to x. So what is this? This is the average value of the function. So what we'll do is we'll find the average value and then we'll set uh, f of c equal to it and solve for c. It turns out that this value of c is the value of c that's guaranteed by the mean value theorem. Now there could be more than one value. There should be just one in this case. So step one is going to be to work out this right hand side which is the average value. This is the AVG value. So in this case, A is 4 and B is 9. Let's go ahead and work this out carefully. So we have 1 divided by 9 minus 4, so that's B minus A, and we have the definite integral from A to B of F of X, so 7, and let's write it as X to the 1 half because we do have to integrate it at some point. So this is going to be 1 over 5, and then we have the 7, so it's really 7 fifths. And then we have the integral uh, from A to B, so 4 over 9. I have no idea <laughs> why I didn't plug in the 4 and the 9 earlier. And we have x to the 1 half dx. Okay, let's be really careful. So this is 7 fifths. When we integrate this guy, we add 1, so we get x to the 3 halves. And when we, div when we divide by 3 halves, we really multiply by the reciprocal, so 2 thirds. Just a cool little clever trick. And we're integrating from 4 to 9. Yep, looks good. This is equal to 14 over 15, right? Because 2 times 7 is 14. Uh, 3 times 5 is 15. And we have to plug in the 9 first. So I'm going to put a bracket. So plugging in the 9 first, we get 9 to the 3 halves minus 4 to the 3 halves. So this is equal to 14 over 15. All right, how do you deal with 9 to the 3 halves? Well, you can think of 9 to the 3 halves as the square root of 9, right? The 2 goes in the little pocket. There's the 2, the invisible 2, cubed. So that's 3 cubed, which is 27. Boom, there it is, 27. Likewise, 4 to the 3 halves, right, the, the bottom number goes in the little pocket. This is the little pocket right here. There it is, 4, and you can put the 3 on the outside. So 2 cubed is equal to 8, right? This number here always goes in the little pocket. This number here always goes in the little pocket. All right, 27 minus 8, big numbers, 14 over 50. I'm going to have to cheat soon and use the calculator. Uh, 27 minus 8 is 19, yuck. Um, and 19 over 15 does not uh, reduce nicely. So using my calculator, I hope this is right, we'll find out. This is 266 over over 15. Insane, insane. I hopefully, uh, looks okay. I don't see any mistakes. So this is 266 over 15. So this is the average value. Okay, so now we have to find C. So to find C, we just set f of c equal to this, right? This here ended up being 266 over 15. So let me scroll down here. All right, so f of x was, was 7 times the square root of x. Now you can use x, but let's, let's be pro about it and, and use c. So we have f of c equals 266 over 15. So this is 7 square root of c right, because f of x is 7 squared of x, so f of c is 7 squared of c, equals 266 over 15. So multiply by 1 seventh. So this is the square root of c equals uh, 266, and I suppose I could do this in my head. I'm pretty sure it's 105, but I do not want to make this video over. <laughs> All right, this is 105, 105, okay? And then to find c, you simply square both of these guys, so C is equal to, let's see, 266, cheating again using a calculator here. Uh, this ends up being uh, 1444 over 225, and that is the correct answer. So that is the value of C guaranteed by the mean value theorem. So uh, pretty nasty numbers and pretty nasty answer. You just got to be careful. If, if you notice when we got here, 
Uh, I was a little hesitant. I'm like, wow, is this uh, correct? Uh, I hadn't worked this out, but I did have the answer before making the video. So uh, all is good. I hope that made sense.